thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. Um, uh, the talk have been uh, mostly around regulation, yes? A lot of countries, the whole world is basically looking at Kenya. What are we going to do so that we can replicate? Because we are the leaders in technology, basically, yes. yeah? Yes. So we've seen uh, situations in uh, South Africa where banks are creating um, sandboxes for these innovations to happen and so that they can create regulations based on what is happening. What is happening in Kenya? What do you think or what are you planning to do about the sandboxes or creating an environment where innovators can create? Now for the last, we've been working uh, with our industry, especially the technology industry in the country, mm -hmm. for the last year to design an appropriate policy framework mm -hmm. for a regulatory sandbox in Kenya. Mm -hmm. I think one of the, the key lessons um, that we've been building is uh, before we start doing regulation, we need to fundamentally understand um, the, the nature of the products as well as then the specific risks that are involved in those products mm -hmm. so that our regulation is responsive to those as opposed to being very generic. Mm -hmm. um, one of the key issues that we are looking at is we need to work much more with the other financial sector regulations in the country that in as much as the CMA may be moving quickly in developing a sandbox, unless we're able to address also the regulation the payment side, the insurance, the payment, uh, the pension component, uh, we may face challenges in having scalable uh, technology solutions because they do cut across the sectors. Um, so we're trying to, for one, champion um, with the joint financial sector regulators, the establishment of some kind of a, a clearinghouse or contact point so that anyone who is in the uh, fintech space mm -hmm. can call a single uh, can engage a single team mm -hmm. to ask okay so if my product has this payment component it has this securities component mm -hmm. and it's linked to this kind of a pensions option mm -hmm. what do i do and where do i start to reduce the sentiment that well we can tell you what we can do for the capital markets mm -hmm. but please go elsewhere to discuss the uh, the rest mm -hmm. um, so i think it's a much longer it's a longer journey but for the capital market specific component, mm -hmm. I think we're confident that by probably uh, end of July mm -hmm. of this year, we should be releasing our, our, policy, our final policy mm -hmm. for the sandbox mm -hmm. and now looking to engage the first potential companies to come to work within that sandbox. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a great take. So uh, we're also looking to work with these hubs because I see this is where all the, the fintechs, all the startups, yes. this is where they spend most of the time is where they get most of the knowledge yes uh, are you also are they in your plans no very much so that they've been at the core of the engagement we've been having mm -hmm. i think different regulators around the world have taken different models mm -hmm. some establish as it were a flaw in their building that is their sandbox mm -hmm. so that they they actually establish an incubator mm -hmm. in and of themselves mm -hmm. but what we're finding in kenya is we already have a booming incubator industry so for us it's much more about partnering with them mm -hmm identifying within the entities that are working there mm -hmm. which of them uh, would be amenable mm -hmm. to functioning within a sandbox mm -hmm. and then now agreeing the parameters mm -hmm. uh, or the rules of the game mm -hmm. for them to continue to develop their product mm -hmm. um, and benefit from the shelter of a sandbox it's not going to be about their location mm -hmm. uh, they won't be sitting at the authority in order to do this business mm -hmm. but we will have agreed with them on the, the terms and conditions, as it were, okay. of them conducting and growing their particular business model pending the application of full regulation. Okay. So this will, will be before July? Um, this will, No, this is after July. It is once the policy on what are the eligibility criteria for the kind of companies, the kind of products, um, the kind of structures you need to have in place. Once that is out and transparent, then we can start inviting people to take advantage of the environment we're creating.